Hello everyone, <clears throat> and welcome to the highlights of Serena's final masterclass episode. Um, I was going to do something special. I don't like doing commentaries because I suck at it, so what's going to happen in this particular uh, thing, I'm just going to do highlights of the episode. So I'm going to cut out some certain parts or whatever, and you're just going to get the highlights of this particular episode of things that really caught my guard. So let's go ahead and jump right into this particular episode and start again. And, yep, Serena, Jesse, and Sh Shauna. Yep, Ash is excited. Kind of, well, Clement's kind of worried. <laughs> Chessman. <laughs> let's do this. This episode better be complete, by the way. <laughs> what? They're already voting. <laughs> Team Rocket song, which kind of seems out of place. That was the shortest preview ever, unless there's multiple ones. <laughs> James trying to whistle with both his fingers was awesome. <laughs> These are really short, short performances. Serena. Oh, there might be multiple performances. Oh, look, a performance that doesn't have fire. Shots at those who think Serena's performances are repetitive. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh, nice. Nymphia, or Sylveon saved, saved Serena. That was awesome. They're voting already? Oh, oh, cameos. Oh, there's Alexa and Viola. And that's it. All the cameos are there. That's really nice that they didn't forget about the cameos. Serena one. <laughs> Serena. Serena one. Wow. They really just wanted to get it over with. Wow. Uh-oh. Jesse's upset. Oh. Oh, wow. Was not expecting Jesse to be like that. Oh. Oh, okay, that, that's... Okay, that's a little creepy, but okay. <laughs> that's so awesome. And here's probably Serena and Yashio. Ooh. Serena sprained her wrist. It's Yashio. Ooh. Oh. So Arya did the same thing as Serena. Wow. Arya did the same thing... Serena did the same thing as Arya. And there's Arya with Vivian, Aromatis, and Delphox. Ooh, that's already a little bit different. This is a really nice performance. Really nice performance. Well, Arya definitely has elegance. Yeah, I don't think Serena's gonna win now. Holy crap. Yeah, I think Serena knows she's not going to win either. Yeah, I don't think Serena's going to win. Even the short performance was very elegant. I just don't think... Ooh, nice close-up of Gudra, though. I I just... I don't... Yep, I know it. Yeah. Arya was just too elegant in that battle that Serena didn't have a chance. And it was a shorter performance, too. Hmm... Really need translations. Smooch him. <laughs> Smooch him. Jesse's ex wow, this is unlike Jesse. She's pretty okay with losing. Oh <laughs> Well Jesse got attacked. <laughs> There's no more Jesse on Team Rocket anymore. <laughs> Poor Jesse. Uh oh. Serena and Ash are alone. Hmm. Nice moment between the two. There's Yashio with Serena. This is a very long episode. And it's showing all of Serena's journey throughout the Kalos region. It's really cool. Really hope they do it with Ash as well. You see my highlights for the episode that I just watched my live reaction of it. Let's actually review the episode.
Pokemon! 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 Hello everyone, I'm Dustin Menzel, and welcome to another Pokemon X, Y, and Z anime discussion. Today we're going to discuss the review of my episode of Masterclass Episode 2, as well as the upcoming episodes that we are aware of, because a lot of information was revealed today. So, this video is going to be a little bit different. You saw the highlights for the Masterclass Episode Part 2 in the very beginning of this particular video, and there will be highlights for other stuff, other things later on in this particular video of me doing a live reaction to. So one thing I want to let you know right now is this review is probably going to be short. The discussion is going to be short as much as possible. Knowing me, <laughs> that could be wrong. But since this episode was very dialogue heavy, there's really not a lot to say. I don't know if I'm going to come back to this later on when I get actual translations of this episode. I don't know what the circumstances are going to be, but I'll try to discuss everything that I possibly can. The episode starts with everyone doing their performances. The performances were short. Jesse was first, then Shauna, then Serena. Then everyone voted for her. We see the cameos from the previous episode. Everyone's voting. We don't get to see how much Serena wins, but Serena does win and moves on. Jesse is strangely okay with this. She did her best, but she lost, and she took it in stride, which is without knowing specifics of the dialogue. It's hard to say exactly what this means, but yeah. So then, of course, Shauna's like, gets really upset and we get this very uncomfortable scene basically oh yeah I miss when I miss something sorry about that I totally miss something when Serena was doing her performance she fell on her wrist and she um, and she basically sprained it but luckily Sylveon was there and flipped Serena so it was like part of her performance so that was really nice that Sylveon was really thinking of something like that and she ended the performance very well. So then, of course, after the Shauna very awkwardly crying, and you'll see this image, it was very uncomfortable. And I was watching it, I was like, really? So she gets in a back room where she's, like, waiting and stuff. Of course, then we see Yashio, and she's, like, there. And then, of course, we see something similar with Arya when Arya had her Fennekin. So it was really nice to see. So then we move on, we move forward, then it's Serena versus Arya. And of course, Serena is up first to do her performance. She did very nicely, very nice. And then of course, if you've seen my highlights, you'll know that it was when it was Arya's turn, the, the way that I said that Arya was being elegant, you almost could immediately tell that Serena was not going to win. There was just no way. I, I saw Arya's performance and I was like, wow. I, that That is superbly better than Serena has ever done. I did like Serena's flower, though. I did like how she did her fairy win, her fire attacks, and whatever Pancham did. Dark Pulse, it looks like. I like how that turned into a flower. I like that Serena did a flower for her performance. But then when Arya did a, her performance, of course, it was just so much more elegant and better and stuff. So it's kind of hard to imagine that Arya was going to lose. And, of course, we get the voting. Uh, I, <clears throat> we did get a lot of voting and stuff. There was this really nice Gudra shot. I think I mentioned it in my highlights. I don't know if I'm going to add it or not, but there was a really nice Gudra image, but it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get it. So yes, uh, Serena did not win, did not become Kalos Queen. Arya re re reclaimed her throne as the Kalos Queen, and she was given the crown to be Kalos Queen. And they, there's a nice touching moment 
Then Yashio discusses something with Serena, and this is where we get into the dialogue-heavy episode parts where I have no idea what they're being said, but Yashio is impressed by Serena or whatever. Grace is there. Then we see Pan or Pancham being kissed by Smoochum. All of Serena's rivals saying goodbye to her. Uh, Miet teasing her about Ash. And then we get this lasting moment of Smoochum kissing Pancham really hard and stuff, you know, <laughs> which was very hilarious. And then we see Jessie with her with a strange attitude that I've never seen Jessie with. She's usually a pouty person, but she seems to have grown and developed from that. And, and of course, all of them are crying, and then Jessie is murdered. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. Poor Jessie. <laughs> so then, of course, Grace actually shows up. I don't know if she reveals or whatever that she was there or not. We didn't really get a lot of interaction because Grace was about to go to Serena, but, of course, that didn't happen. And then, of course, we get a really nice, touching moment with Ash and Serena talking. Something happens, and then, of course, when Yashio is about to leave, Serena's, like, discussing things or whatever. And then, of course, Yashio gives Serena a, a little card or something like that. Gives her a card, and it supposedly indicates that at some point, Serena is going to call Yashio up to help her train to be a better performer and become the Kalos Queen. And then that's pretty much the end of the episode. Like I said, the episode is very dialogue heavy at the end. The performances were very short. I think this is technically a little bit lesser quality than the previous episode in terms of rating, like, but not by much. So something like if the first episode was going to be like a 9 or something, 9 or the equivalent of something like a 9, then this would probably be something like an 8.5 or the equivalent, so like half a point. And, and the only reason why is because I feel like the performances were rushed. Jesse, S Shauna, and Serena's performances were really short in the beginning of the episode. Serena didn't feel like she really earned her spot in the finals because of how short it was, but it did make sense. What's interesting, however, is that she only used Pancham and Sylveon, and you will see in the highlights where I take a shot at the people who say it's repetitive or whatever. Oh, you can't say it's repetitive now, and I did make a little joke or whatever. I was trying to make a joke in the live reaction that someone learned a fire type move, you know, but that didn't happen, so... Or, I don't think Sylveon nor Pancham can actually learn a fire type type attack, but it would have been hilarious. Maybe Serena could have used a fire type attack. No, I'm just kidding. I was just, you know, it wasn't repetitive at all. So then, of course, we get the actual performance, which was a lot better than the previous performance. And like I said, I really like the flower. This is probably the best image that you're going to get for the flower that I can get right now. And, of course, like you saw in the highlights, I knew Arya was going to win. It was just so obvious. The way Arya presented herself within the performance herself, her performance was so elegant. It was so gentle and straightforward that there was just no way that Serena was going to win. It's like they purposely held back Serena and gave the better performance to Arya because I actually saw that and that's not something that I don't think that I usually see, because I'm sure people will accuse me for playing favoritism for Serena or whatever, because I feel like Serena's performances are a little bit better than the other performance that we see. But there was just something about the way that Arya's performance was presented that made it pretty obvious to me that Serena wasn't going to win. And I would have been surprised if Serena did win. And as it turned out, Serena did not win, of course. Maybe one series generation down the line, maybe we'll actually get a character traveling with Ash that will actually be able to be beat their league equivalent tournament. Dawn was close. Serena was, like, right there, pretty close right there. But, of course, she had to beat the previous 
Kalos Queen, basically, the, the current Kalos Queen, so she was already at a disadvantage, but Serena probably would have been the closest if it wasn't for the fact that she had to battle Arya. Dawn still had to beat Zoe, and Zoe was kind of equal to her, so Dawn did get really close, but I feel like Serena technically did win, but the disadvantage was having to compete against the current Kalos Queen. So I, I feel like this is a little bit better than actual pageants because I believe you can only be a beauty queen or whatever once one year and then you have to give up your throne for somebody else later on. At least I think that's how it works. So they did things a little bit different here. I don't know my overall opinion of Pokemon showcases because, like I said, the, the performances were short in this particular episode. You could say they were short and sweet, but compared to the other performances we've seen, they were kind of lacking. It, it almost was to the point where the actual performances felt like they could have just been screenshots and that's all we could have gotten for the last one with Shauna, Jesse, and Serena. So yeah, that's why it was a little disappointing, but outside of the dialogue heavy parts of the episode, I this episode was really good. It was pretty good. Not sure what this means for the future. I feel like the card that Yashio gave Serena would indicate some sort of plot later on where Serena will move on. So I think that's all I'm going to say about this particular episode. And of course, we are going to move on to the next episode. Now, out when I did the whole entire live commentary, and I'm just doing highlights for the episode, I also recorded my reaction to the preview. So I cut that out. So here's the my live reaction of the preview in its entirety, even though I like went back in time a little bit, so I'll see you in just a moment. Okay, here's the preview. Marriage. <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> Running. Oh, that's the girl. Oh, wow. <laughs> Bonnie. Ooh, Luxray. Using Thunderfang? Is it really using Thunderfang? Hey, I didn't rewind enough. Yep. Yep. Hey, Luxray is using Thunderfang. Okay. Okay, we are back, and that was my live reaction to the preview. So let me go to TV Tokyo, and we'll discuss it a little bit in more. One thing that I want to note really quick that I didn't say in my live reaction of the preview was that this girl that we see in the actual episode is very old looking. Well, not old looking. She's definitely not an old lady. What I mean is, in comparison to the other characters, she definitely looks older than the characters. And if Clement is not 10, then she probably would be a little bit older than Clement or just as old as Clement. But she definitely looks older than like Ash and Serena. And of course, Bonnie, obviously. So, so basically, I have the TV Tokyo preview. That was the preview that came with the episode. But here's the TV Tokyo YouTube version of the preview that I usually get and take images from. So then, of course, we see Klimahan getting married to someone. The wedding, really nice moment. We didn't, we didn't, we don't see the girl at that point. And then, of course, we see Bonnie entering the altar, of course. And then, of course, Bonnie being all jealous and everything. And then, of course, we see the girl. She she looks pretty nice. I was expecting yellow hair, but it's kind of nice. She, she, she at least has glasses, and she looks kind of nerdy, smart, kind of. She looks more like an artist, though. She looks like, like she has, like, this French hat, I believe, on. I think that's a French hat or whatever. And she does look like she's, like, some sort of artist or painter, but she actually is into science. So so this girl actually realizes that Bonnie is being very jealous, and my speculation seems to be true. Then we see a moment where Bonnie's all, like, asking this woman, this girl, to... See, she's crouching down, and she's, like... she She's probably as tall as Bonnie crouching down. So this girl is very tall. She's probably going to be taller than Clement. And so she does definitely look like she's like 18 or something or 16 or something of that nature. So I don't know how old Clement is, but she definitely looks older than Clement. 
So, bon well, of course, Bonnie has proposed to older women before, but not knowing the specific ages is really kind of hard to tell. So Bonnie is proposing to this woman. And then, of course, we get Serena pinching Bonnie's cheeks as well as Dedene. <laughs> and then, of course, this girl is eating. Bonnie's all upset. I see that, Bonnie. I see that reaction, Bonnie. Uh, Clement seems happy. Ash is okay with all of this. And then Bonnie gets really upset as well as Danae. And then, of course, we see Team Rocket. And then we see, of course, I said this in my live reaction, of course we see Luxray using Thunderfang. Bonnie falling that I didn't mention or whatever. And then, of course, that's pretty much the end of TV Tokyo's preview. So this episode seems to be what I think it is. It seems to be Bonnie proposes and then all of a sudden the thought of losing her brother is what's probably going to make her all jealous and not wanting her brother to leave and it's going to be a typical predictable plot that we can think of when it comes to younger siblings admiring the hell out of their older siblings basically. So I think that's all I'm going to see in this particular episode. It's, it's pretty much going to be what I expect uh, it, there will be a break this 31st, so we won't get it until April, I believe. Yeah, the 31st, so it won't be out until the 7th. So anyway, let's move on to the particular new episode titles that we get. Here is my live reaction that I did when I read the titles. So you'll see the titles there, and I will discuss a little bit when we come back. When I when we come back to me. In this particular video, I will discuss those titles in more depth. All right, we are back. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Here's here's my live reaction of the for the episode titles. Hello, everyone. Dustin Benzel here. For real quick, um, I'm gonna go ahead and make this video because uh, I just checked Sarah B, and there are new episode titles. So this is gonna be a live reaction and announcement of those titles as well as a little bit of speculation of what those titles will probably be about. So let's go to Sarah B because they said new episode titles. And we got a couple of ones. Uh, <laughs> really? Um, Serena becomes Ash, the ultimate Pikachu showdown. Ash and Along, Greninja vs. Mega Charizard once again. The Forest Curse and the White Phantom. <clears throat> so, um, it'll be interesting to see Serena becoming Ash. I wonder if they swap bodies or something like that or whatever it's going to be. Um, the Ultimate Pikachu Showdown. Hey, Pikachu getting some screen time here. Okay, so Ash and Alon, Greninja vs. Mega Charizard once again. Uh, I don't know what this means. Oh, wait. <laughs> of course, the image that I showed you earlier, that, or at least I think just my Twitter that I forgot to make an announcement of, that's what that will be. Okay, so then, of course, the Forest Curse and the White Phantom. We are getting that shiny Phantom, which is, of course, white, I believe. Let me just check real quick. Yes, White Phantom is shiny. Or shiny. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny Phantom is white instead of instead of brown, which is cool. But I'm really not expecting Ash to capture anything at this particular point. So just a Phantom episode, I guess. I guess something to look forward to. Hopefully, no random rival trainer captures it or whatever. So anyway, that, that's just my quick. Uh, live reaction of the titles that I just wanted to go over. I just woke up. I'm going to do a quick live reaction of highlights of my reaction to the Pokemon Showcase, but you probably already know that. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching this, and here's the rest of the review episode. All right, we are back. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that live reaction that I did. I'm going to do the same thing for when we get Cora Cora magazines. What I what I do is I go to Serebii and I 
cover most of the screen with my eyes and I just read the title and if it says Coro Coro details or new episode titles then I just click out of the things and then I just record that's what I did for this so again we have Serena becoming Ash we have Ash versus Lon and we have Fanta now I don't know exactly there was an upcoming episodes preview that I'll have to actually watch again real quick but I did do a live reaction for that. So, any, But before we get into that, let's, of course, discuss. So let me quickly go to the official X, Y, and Z website of TV Tokyo because they actually have images. So the Serena Becoming Ash thing... Uh, we see this punk rocker with Pikachu. Now, this there was a little bit of this in the upcoming episodes preview as well. I think of Ash Greninja as well, or whatever. But what we saw was Pikachu battling another Pikachu. Now, in the in the, when you see my live reaction, you're going to see that I think well, is Sparky coming back. You know, indicating that Richie, but it's not actually Richie. Just to let you know, I'm going to leave the reaction intact so you can see what it looked like. But it did at at first looked like it was Sparky because Sparky had that tuft on its head that is different than most Pikachu so when you see a special tuft on a Pikachu you immediately think of Sparky but that's not really the case in this it's just another Pikachu with the hair problem basically so there's that particular episode so the title is, of course, you already know that because I said it is Serena Becomes Ash, the Ultimate Pikachu Showdown. So what I think is there may be some body swapping going on or Serena dresses up as Ash. Maybe this punk rocker that we see insults Serena because she's a woman and, she does, and he doesn't want to battle her because she doesn't have a Pikachu and she's a girl. Maybe Serena will dress up as Ash and battle with Ash's Pikachu. Not sure what we got in the upcoming episodes preview. It's been a while since I've seen it. So I will refresh my memory when we talk about the upcoming episodes preview and I will discuss it then. Or the episode will probably be about body swapping. You know, Serena becomes Ash and Ash becomes Serena. There's a lot of jokes already about Serena becoming Ash and stuff. So... Yeah, if, if you want to look at those, there's, they're in the forums all over the place in the comments in regards to this episode. So then we run into the second episode, which of course is Greninja versus Ash. Or not Ash, Gre Greninja versus Mega Charizard, and it's Ash and Alon. Greninja versus Mega Charizard once again. Now, the upcoming episodes preview, I think, showed a little bit more of this. I'm not sure how much of it was for that particular moment because the one thing that we also had in the upcoming preview that I will discuss then is other characters but I think this is going to lead into what's going to happen in the future and of course that will be discussed in the upcoming episodes preview so what I expect is Ash Greninja to do a little bit better even though it hasn't really done anything since its last battle so not sure what Ash is thinking but I'm assuming Greenwich is going to do a little bit better, do a little bit more damage. Maybe it'll be down to the wire, but Charizard will still win, and of course, Ash will lose. So I guess it will depend on the circumstances. And then we get into the episode that I'm really trying to ignore for obvious reasons, if you know my channel. And of course, that's the Force Curse and the White Fanta. And of course, we have this particular image with Bonnie and Dedene. Remember... When I remember in that video when I said and I feel and I think I left it in there. Remember when I said that I would dread and resent and uh, look forward to anticipate when we got Fanta. Yeah, well, apparently TV Tokyo called me this morning and said to go to their website, and their translator said that Ash isn't going to get this Fanta, and they all laughed at me. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't record that, <laughs> but. I just knew this was going to happen. I just knew it. I knew there was going to be a Phantom episode. I could just sense it. I think it was last video when I said there wasn't a lot of information. I think that's when I mentioned Phantom. Because I just knew one of the upcoming episodes was going to be about Phantom. There was just no way it wasn't going to be about Phantom. And here we go. We got a Phantom episode. 
Now, like I said, I'm not really happy about this because this is most likely just going to be a filler episode and it's not going to be relevant and it's like you have this really cool shiny phantom and it's not going to really do anything except have Bonnie and Dedenne trying to cheer it with Poffins and stuff in the image. And I realize that doesn't mean anything but I... I want to like this episode because it has Phantom in it, but since it's obviously, there's just no way it's going to be important. I I want to be wrong, but I feel like I'm going to be right in this one particular instance that I don't want to be right in. That nothing is going to happen. So at least we get a Phantom episode, so that's... One of the only few Pokemon that we haven't seen, so I guess we just have to wait for Bergmite now. Probably be, will be a League Pokemon, probably, or we'll get another filler. So anyway, uh, let's go ahead and do the upcoming episodes preview. Uh, here is my live reaction to the preview, and as you'll see, I mentioned Sparky, but it is not Sparky, it is not Richie, so here's my reaction. Hello everyone, Dustin Benson, real quick, um, sorry I keep saying my name in my review, but these are little clips of videos that I'm recording, uh, I did a live reaction for the titles, I'm gonna do a live reaction now for the pre upcoming preview, and it shows Ash, and apparently this is about, uh, I think Dianth is in this, Shoda's in this, and Wolfric's in this, so I'm gonna go ahead and react to that, like, right now. Okay. Alright, Greninja. Where's her shuriken on the back? Zygarde, Alon, Shota, Greninja versus Heptile. Nice. Wolfric, Talonflame. It's confirmed for the battle against Avalog. So is Halucha. Diantha, Gardeva versus Ash Greninja. Nice. And a. Was that Sparky? Is Richie coming back to X and Y? Was that Sparky? Because there's a Pikachu battling against Pikachu. So that really didn't do anything for me or reveal anything to me. So outside of Talonflame and Halucha being in the gym battle, poor Noivern. So the last Pokemon is either Pikachu or Greninja, I guess. Maybe it is a 5-on-5 five five battle, which would be amazing, but I don't really expect that. So anyway, that that's my live reaction for the um, Greninja, or the preview, the upcoming episode's preview, so thank you. Um, so anyway, back to the normal video. Okay, so we're back, and I'm going to go ahead and go over it more in depth for the uh, upcoming episodes preview that we got with Wolfric and stuff. Uh, you saw my reaction. There wasn't really a lot I could discuss. We get this really nice photo. I didn't really notice a lot in the preview, so that's why my live reaction may not be as anticipated as I thought. So we actually see Greninja mastering its form in Ash Greninja. We see that giant water shuriken on Greninja's back at like swirly vortex or whatever. Uh, and then we see Greninja flying normally. And then, of course, we see Zygarde 50% form with Olympia, it looks like. I think we saw just, I think we just saw Olympia. Yep, looks like Olympia. And then, of course, we see Blue Zygarde Core, I believe, with Lysander. Then we, of course, see Greninja versus, or no, actually, we saw Alon and Charizard. And then we saw Shoda or Sawyer. And then we see Charizard using Thunder Punch in a different manner than before. And then, of course, we see Greninja versus Sceptile. And then, of course, Greninja firing a Water Shuriken. And then we see Wolfric. We see Talonflame using Flame Charge against Avalog. We see Halucha in Obama Snow. And then, of course, we see Diantha with Gardevoir 
I don't know if it's Mega. I think it might be Mega using Shadow Ball against Greninja. And then, of course, at this particular moment, I think, or some point, and then, of course, we see the Pikachu versus Pikachu battle. Again, I'm not sure if that was Serena as Pikachu or if we saw that. Not really sure what the circumstances are. Now, in the preview, I don't know if where we got that, but there will be images, and I'll hopefully get them, where we actually see Ash and Greninja having something on their wrist, which I think is relating to their particular form change. So... I've got that. It could be relating to Sun and Moon. It could be Mega Evolution or whatever. So there's not really much I want to discuss in the particular episode outside of it's really nice that Dianth is helping Ash Master, uh, helping Ash Master the Ash Greninja form. Hopefully uh, Sycamore will get involved with the wrist and stuff because he is the leading expert of Mega Evolution. So maybe Dianth and Sycamore will show up in that particular moment. Maybe Sycamore will get involved in regards to Mega Evolution. Still no word on the uh, Zygarde plots, but we did see a little bit. I don't know if they were from previous episodes or not. Uh, it looks like Olymp It does look like Olympia is going to come back, though, because I don't remember seeing that particular Zygarde image in regards to Olympia. And then, of course, we see Ash versus Wolfric, and I'm not entirely too happy with Ash versus Wolfric, simply because it's Halucha and Talonflame versus Obama Snow and Avalug. And I, I realize that it doesn't mean anything, but the problem that I have is that if it is a two versus two, it's going to be identical to the gym battle with Valerie. The only difference, of course, is that. Fletchender has been a, has evolved since then and has become a talent flame, so I'm not really looking forward to a two versus two. If it's three versus three, I'm not expecting Noivern, especially since we saw Avalug battling against Talon Flame. I just I'm not really looking forward to this particular gym battle. I want to be wrong. I want to be proven wrong, and until we get a little bit more information, I'm going to be on the more disappointed side. If we get more information in regards, maybe we'll get. Maybe when we get April Pokemon fan, maybe they'll reveal a little bit more information on what's going to happen, but I'm not entirely looking forward to the gym battle because it's, it doesn't look that exciting. The animation looks really nice, but it doesn't look all that exciting to me at that particular moment, but that's just me for at this particular moment in time. Maybe we'll get more information later on. So anyway, I think that's all I have to say right now. As the episodes come out, we get more summaries and episode titles, maybe even getting broadcast, data broadcast Pokemon or something like that. I will do another video. But until then, oh wait, well I guess I could talk about Ash versus Dianth a, a little bit more. I don't think Ash Greninja is going to beat Gardevoir, but it would be interesting if... Greninja did learn a new move. So that's all I wanted to say real quick. Just a little bit more. Like I said, I will discuss things when the episodes start coming up sooner. So anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Dustin Bizzle, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.